Hey, welcome to Adventure Streaming, guys. I'm Guy Fucci, and we're going to do a review on the 2020 Skidoo Backcountry XRS. I got 340 miles on it, a little over 10 hours, just did the 10 hour check. And I can't say enough about this sled, having a blast. I am loving this thing so far. So I've come off of, I have an XRS trail sled, 129. I had a free ride, I actually traded the free ride in for this one. This is my longest track I've ever had, it's a 154. But I'll tell you what, I've been riding this thing on the trails. I've had it out in about two, two and a half feet of fresh snow. Loving it. I mean, it truly is a crossover. I'm not gonna kid myself. I'm still gonna do 80% trails. So I have the 154, I got the two inch track on it. It's pretty much stock. I mean, other than Electronic for my helmet, you know, for the uh, electric visor. I got a USB connector in here, keep phone, other devices charged up. I got the extension riser on here and the link system. Uh, the only other thing I changed, which really isn't performance, but to me it's a safety thing, is I did replace the stock light bulbs with some Schweiger International bulbs you can check it out in one of my other videos that's the only thing that I've done I pretty much have done that on all my sleds over the last four years I love them you can be seen really well and you can see well the clutching's really smooth the gearing is just right that new 571 belt that they came out with last year home run with that I like it a lot it doesn't get black, it just turns green. It can withstand a am crazy amount of temperature. I actually put one on my trail sled as well, my XRS. And I was reluctant to do that. It's great. Uh, the new gauge cluster is cool. KYB Pros do a really nice job. You know, they got the rebound and compression as well adjustments, both in the front and in the rear. Got a little bit of snow on them right now. Didn't think I was going to like this color that much, but I already have a black sled. <laughs> and I really like it on the snow. I mean, you'd be the judge of that, but I'll tell you what, I'm happy with it. There's the link system I've talked about. It's nice. You can put gas stands, fuel. I carry a bag on it with some survival security gear, a couple of tools. Here's the shot. So I don't have to pull anything. Let's see, this thing's been off for about 30 minutes. Meaning it's great on trails. You wouldn't believe it unless you do it yourself that 154 inch handles great on the trail. Now I have a 129 XRS 850 as well. Um, 2019. If all you're going to do is trail bang, that's a hard sled to beat. I love that thing just for trails. But up here, I'm actually doing this film up here in Ontario. Tons of lakes, a lot of off trail. I'm on a farm right now. So again, can the XRS do, I'm only in what? 10, 12 inches of snow right now. But this thing's a blast. I've had it up into two and a half feet of snow. So again, not anything super deep, but something you would struggle with the XRS. Um, and this is fun. Hey, before we, uh, before we sign off, I just want to put a public safety message out there. Hey guys, wear a vest. Man, with the amount of money that we spend, whether you're riding new or used or borrowing somebody's sled, 
investing in a vest that's gonna last you 20 years is amazing. If you got somewhere to be on Monday, you got people that care about you, you got a job to go to, wear it. Think about the cost of broken ribs or way, way worse. Great investment. You don't even know you have it on. I don't even feel comfortable going riding without it. Enough said about that. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Check out some of our playlists. And man, have a great season. Enjoy your adventures.